So I know quite a lot of you really wanna go further with your art, whether that's creating a full-time living from it, or even just getting more people to see your art, become more recognized in the art community and become more successful. And I wanna to talk to you today about how you can achieve all of that, not just by improving your artwork and having great art, but mainly by improving your business skills. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And so today we are going to be focusing on the business side of art. And I do believe that business and learning business is actually the main reason why you will be successful and the main thing that kind of decides whether you will be successful or whether you won't be. Whilst I'm talking about this, I'm going to be working on another watercolor animal painting. And this is of a really cute kitten that I did. And so a lot of you guys really like this on Instagram. So if you guys do wanna see more of my like work in progress and behind the scenes sort of shots as I'm working on the paintings and my day to day sort of life, then make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Kirsty's Art. And so also if you want prints of this, then they are available on my Etsy store and the link for that will be in the description. But anyway, business. So a lot of people that are artists and want to do art don't really think about the business side. A lot of people are really creative, they love to create art, but they're not so much business people but it is so important that you learn business. I cannot stress enough how important and vital it is that you know all of these business skills, ways to market yourself as an artist because you could have the most amazing artwork ever, but no one's gonna see it if you don't know how to market yourself, how to get your art in front of people and how to actually create an living from your art. So I, I do consider myself to be quite successful in the art community. I have managed to create a living for myself and I am quite young, it hasn't taken me very long. And that is because I do believe I am very good at the business side of art as well. I don't just put my art out in front of people and expect that people are going to buy it or just give me money for stuff or just people are just gonna to come to you for no reason. You have to make them come to you. And so I think it's really important, for example, if you're starting a YouTube channel, to learn every single thing you can about how to make your videos most successful, whether that's the SEO behind it, how to tag your videos, how to create perfect thumbnails, how to write perfect titles and descriptions, and more about the algorithm. It is so important to not to just put your stuff up in front of people, whether that's on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and just expect that people are gonna find it. You need to put your, your content and your posts in the most best position for people to find it. And so one thing that you need to do is research heavily the platforms that you're best like into, the platforms that you wanna put your art on. Whether that is Instagram, that is a great one for artists at the moment, and that's something that I'm trying to push more and more. So Instagram, it's so good, you can go live, you can do your Instagram stories and your regular posts, and it is the place to be right now for artists. So if you guys want to grow a following, then I really recommend looking into Instagram, looking at ways to kind of grow your art, and not just put your art out there and expect people to follow you and find you. You need to make them find you. You need to put relevant hashtags. You need to look into like things that are kind of popular and trending right now. If you draw someone that's really popular or they're trending and tag them in it, they might repost it. And it's just about doing things that are current or being really good at getting your stuff in front of people. And also when it comes to earning money, you need to think about the business side of it. Like you need to create a business model for your artwork. So funnily enough, I don't actually earn a lot of my money, a lot of my living from my art. I don't earn or sell a lot of original art. I don't take on commissions that much because I don't really like to. And I don't, I sell prints, but I don't sell Lowe's, it's not my main sort of revenue stream. I earn most of my money through YouTube, Patreon, selling sort of educational based content. And so if you are an artist, you might wanna consider not just creating art, but teaching those skills or creating courses, eBooks, normal books, 
anything that you can create a product from or a service and use that to gain even more income because if you're a really great artist then you probably have a ton of skills that people are willing to pay for. It's such a good market and people do like buying courses, they do like buying things that they really need like that and educational based content is something that's never going to go out of sort of season once you've made that course on a specific topic and your techniques you can keep selling it for years and years once you've made one product you can then go on and sell it another thing I do is affiliate marketing this video isn't about ways to make money that will be a different video altogether and I have also made a video about 10 ways to make money but this is just a video to stress the importance of learning business and learning these things as an artist how are you going to make your living do you want to just make it from your artwork? Do you want to do like gallery placements? Do you want to do commissions? Do you want to sell prints? Do you want to make most of your money through the art itself? Or do you want to make money through affiliate marketing, through creating sort of influence in the community and having affiliate marketing, selling courses, selling ebooks, making products, providing services like on Patreon and all of those things are things that you need to think about because this will influence the type of content that you want to put out. Because for example, I know that I wanted to create educational based videos, I wanted to do a lot of tutorials, I wanted to do a lot of teaching and my main focus is that I want to start to create courses for you guys and really helpful sort of products that will help you guys get even better at drawing. So I wanted to cater my free content, my YouTube videos, to help attract an audience that will later be interested in the stuff that I'm going to sell. And it's just about being clever about it. If I was to just put up videos of say like random speed drawings of, I don't know, Disney characters for example, I might get a lot of followers, but none of those followers will be probably interested in drawing realistic animals. If I then went to sell a product, based on this other thing, my audience isn't interested in that. Whereas at the moment, I'm building an audience that is interested in drawing realistically. They want to get better themselves because that's why they're watching tutorials. And so chances are, when I provide services and products, they're really gonna be valuable to these people. So it is really important not to just put out content and hope for the best, but really think about the long-term plan. A lot of people are really, really impatient about this. It's a process that's gonna take years you need to have a long-term plan for the next five ten years what are you trying to achieve and then building up a following does take a lot of time like I always say in my first year on YouTube it took me a year to get 1,000 subscribers at the moment I'm getting 600 to 700 subscribers a day so it really does change and a lot of people get really really sort of I don't know, they get really impatient in the first few months expecting that you're gonna skyrocket loads and loads of followers because you see a lot of other successful people and you just assume they were always big. Whereas we've had to grow, we've had to, I've been doing this for three years and only now is it really, really, you know, over the last year really taken off and really growing at a rapid rate. And so I always knew when I did it three years ago that it, that it was going to take a long time. I was never discouraged because I always knew what the end goal was. I wanted to be full time, I wanted to be independent and be my own sort of boss. And so, I always looked into the business side. I always knew it's gonna take a long time. So I was patient. I was enjoying it because I'm not worried that, oh, I'm not growing at the moment because I always knew that it was going to take a while before I would start growing. And so you need to be realistic with your goals. A lot of people think they're going to get, say, 50,000 subscribers in the first year. And even though some people do, that is not the normal. And so you need to look into and research what the normal sort of things are and normal goals and realistic things so that you don't get too disheartened if you don't suddenly skyrocket with your subscribers and views or followers, whatever it is. And same thing when you're trying to get commissions or prints selling and stuff like that. You're not gonna sell loads straight away. You need to build up that reputation. You know, if you start an Etsy store, you won't get loads of sales straight away unless you have a really large following because quite often, People like to see reviews. People like to see some sort of encouragement that when they buy something, it's gonna be good quality. So you need to build up that reputation and get more and more sort of reviews. And then by that point, people will be more confident buying from you and 
you know, all the testimonials are really important. So overall, I know this video has been a bit random, but I just want to stress the importance of business, looking into everything that you're interested in doing, whether that's platforms, whether that's creating products, whether that's creating services. Spend half of your time creating the artwork and the other half on the business side, maybe looking into companies to sponsor you or looking at ways to kind of monetize your artwork or monetize so that you can create a living from this or if it's a hobby look into ways that you can grow your following and then if it's a hobby it might turn into something a bit more later on down the line so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want to see real-time tutorial videos so you can learn along with me all of my techniques then make sure that you check out my patreon i've got realistic graphite and colored pencils whether that's animals portraits loads of tutorials available on there but that is it from me if you're new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye everybody